Hey everyone, this is Theo, and I am the coach of the Beantown Binacles. Uh, we are in week 9 of the VBA, and we will be playing against the Kung Fu Urshifus, coached by Xerxes Khan. And uh, oh, I, I also wanted to point out that uh, after our win last week against the Detroit Dragonites, we have officially clinched a spot in the playoffs. Uh, there are currently three other teams that have clinched a spot in the playoffs, those being the uh, Pittsburgh Steel Types, the H-Town Houndooms, and the Sussex Sableyes. The Sableyes, coached by Sam, aka Ruby T, uh, they're the only team that knows what seed, uh, what their seed will be going into playoffs so far. They're guaranteed to be locked uh, into first seed, um, but everyone else is still to be determined, so there can still be a lot of mixing and shuffling uh, in these last two games of the regular season. Uh, the final four playoff spots, it's really going to be a toss-up because the records are so close, um, and uh, yeah, it's it, it will be it's going to be a, a tight race to the finish. Um, so let's take a look at the Kung Fu Urshifu roster. Um, the first thing about this team is that they have arguably the best trick room setter in the format in Porygon 2. Uh, along with the Pokemon that are almost all slower than my whole team. So Trick Room is definitely something we need to prioritize uh, to prevent from going up. Um, the Swampert is a threat against our Heatran. It gives them uh, a fairly safe switch in against our Rotom Wash as well. Uh, we'll also need to play around the Marowak with our Rotom since he has been running Lightning Rod on Marowak for the most part. Um, I think the biggest threat for our team will probably be the Thunderous. Uh, it hits our team for super effective for most of our brings this week. Um, we will also need to get rid of the Thunderous as soon as possible. I think Thunderous is probably the number one threat, followed by uh, followed by the Swampert. But the Swampert we actually have a lot of coverage for, um, although uh, uh, it, it does hit Heatran hard. Uh, we are carrying the Shucka Berry on the Heatran for that Swampert uh, for that purpose. Um, so let's take a look at our team this week. All right, so this is our team. Uh, our builds this week are very bulky uh, because I have close to no speed investment on everyone on this team except Inteleon, I believe. Uh, most of his team is base 60 or below, um, so they're mostly Pokemon that are not typically run with speed investment anyway, so I figured we could just you know ditch speed for this matchup and go for the bulk this week. Uh, we just have to make sure to watch out for the Thunderous uh, Max Airstream because I think one Max Airstream, he will start out speeding a lot of our Pokemon. Um, the moveset for the Whimsicott and Heatran are pretty standard. Uh, taunt to stop Trick Room. A couple coverage moves on both of them. Um, and like I mentioned before, the Shucka Berry. Uh, we have a couple other taunt users in Serena and Haxorus. Uh, Haxorus and Serena, they... Um, Oh, well, I'm sorry. Serena and Heatran both have gra uh, grass coverage for the Swampert, and Haxorus is kind of like a pseudo answer to Thunderous. Uh, we have Triple Axel on the Serena for the Thunderous as well, which uh, if we get all three hits, will Oko it if it's not Dynamaxed. Um, and we have the Koba Berry on Serena. And this was a last second switch to uh, originally I was running Mago Berry, but the only way I can survive a max airstream is with Koba Berry so that we can uh, hit them back with the triple axle because we're definitely not going to outspeed that uh, Thunderous uh, on our own. Uh, we are running a jet pack on the Haxorus. This is uh, going to give us an answer for the Porygon 2. It gives us a really strong pivot. And uh, with close combat, uh, uh, close combat, dropping our defenses and then a jet pack sending us back out. Uh, essentially a really strong U-turn move. Uh, we'll only get it at um, one time, so we'll have to use it accordingly. Uh, our Rotom this week is carrying Will-O-Wisp, uh, being that his team is f mostly physical attackers, and that's the same reason why I chose Scald over Snipeshot for our Inteleon, uh, just for that burn chance, because if we get a burn uh, on any member of his team besides Duraludon, it's it'll, and I guess technically Porygon too, it, it, it's going to really limit his damage output. Uh, but yeah, that's our team. And even though we are guaranteed for playoffs, uh, I still want to finish this season strong and, and with a good seed, a good spot going into the first round of playoffs. So yeah, we'll, we'll give it our all here. And uh, yeah, I think I'll cut the video here and we'll come back once the battle is about to start. All right, so here we are. 
And uh, we are about to start the battle. Let's see what he's bringing. Porygon, Duraldon, Riolu, Thunderous, Marowak, and Swamper. Okay, cool. So he brought everything we expected to uh, him to bring. Uh, I'm really worried about this Thunderous. Um, hmm. So the question is, is he going to lead Thunderous or is he going to have Thunderous in the back since we have two water types? Uh, what is our safest bet here? So we'll go, I guess we'll go with our original plan, which was Heatran and Serena lead. The tricky thing is that um, I, if we lead Inteleon Whimsicott, we could find out a lot about his Thunderous, and it allows us to Oko the Porygon uh, straight out the bat. Hmm. Is that what I want to do? Maybe we'll do that next game. Uh, do we want to do that next game? Actually, yeah, let's just do that next game because we're running out of time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm really nervous. Holy smokes. All right, so good luck, have fun to Xerxes, and here we go. Hopefully we can pull up the W. Oh boy. All right, so he goes Riolu and Porygon. I'm very happy that we went with this lead. Uh, so typically he sashes the Riolu, and there should be an attack race. So every one of my Pokemon have higher special defense this week, just for that download avoid. Uh, unless he's running a physical Porygon. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to taunt the Porygon, and we're just going to Heat Wave. Yeah. Yep. I want to find out if this Porygon has Eerie Impulse. My guess is probably Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Trick Room, Recover. It's either Recover or Eerie Impulse. Oh, he's Dynamaxing the Porygon. Ooh. Is that a Porygon in a Cherished Ball? Alright, so I did not account for this. Uh, I actually thought about it this morning, that his if he Dynamaxes Porygon, that could be pretty scary because I don't have much for it. Guard, that's fine. So what's real trick room? Oh, nice. He went for it. Okay, so let's see here. Riolu, this copycat. Oh, he's not sashed. What's the item? All right. Well, let's see what he brings out now. We don't know the item on the real now. The Marowak. Okay. Alright, so what are we gonna do against this Marowak? Um... What did he use with Riolu? Did he not trick him? Am I going crazy? What did he do with Riolu? Oh, he must have. Did he coach? No, he didn't coach. What did he do? Um, Alright, so we're not under Trick Room. Uh, we're just going to protect. Yeah, we'll protect the Serena. We're gonna quake into the Marowak. I guess it's Max Hailstorm into the Serena slot. I'm so confused. I totally miss what the Riolu did with the copycat. But we're not under Trick Room, so... That must have been a mistake on his end, yeah. 
Because now he, he has no way to set up Trick Room. Yep, this shouldn't do too much. We are max HP on this Serena. Serena is naturally really bulky. It's a budget Rillaboom. I'm really glad we picked uh, picked up Serena. With base 120 attack, it's, it's no joke. All right, so now we're in hail. So we know Porygon has, it has to have Trick Room, right? So we know it has Ice Beam. The question is, does it have Thunderbolt? Swampert? Okay, so Swampert's probably gonna protect, which is fine. Um, we're gonna switch out to Rotom for our Serena slot, and then we're going to. I guess we sh we show that. Well, we'll find out if he's a uh, if he is uh, Rindo or not on this Swampert. He's not Rindo. What? What is going on? I'm so confused. Oh god. I'm so confused. He has no none of the items I'm expecting him to bring. Alright, so Swamper. I just want to see if he's AVE. Another Max Hailstorm. That's fine. Alright, so we're gonna try to not reveal info as best we can. Okay, so even if he is AP, I still have hope. Oh. Alright. So let's switch back out to Serena. And then uh, I think he still has. I think, no, he's not taunted, right? Okay, so he's gonna go for Trick Room. Um, which is fine. Going to Max Quake into the P2. Yeah, because we, we can set up Sun next turn. That's no problem. Still have one more turn of Dynamax after this. Alright, so we'll actually be able to see what moves this P2 has. Let's. I wonder if he's going to go for the area impulse. He has to go for Trick Room. That's really bulky. Okay, so let's see here. Let's find out if he's especially defensive. Yep, okay. Just fine. We're going to taunt him so that he can't recover. Well, actually, we're going to protect first, and then we're going to taunt him. around max quake to yeah that's that's about right so he's especially bulky was it, did it do around 25 uh, a little more than 25 so he might be even split oh i thought what did we do what did we do we max grass we max overgrowth the swamper max oh okay so that was our last oh that was that was a mistake so let's see here uh, we are plus two Spadef, so we have to keep Heatran in. Um, I'm going to protect. Let's stall out these Trick Room turns. And we'll, uh, do we want to reveal Protect? I want to see if he has Eerie Impulse. He does. Okay. This is going to be a long battle. Alright, so we know he has Eerie Impulse Pro and Trick Room. So... Let me see here. Last move is probably Ice Beam. I meant Thunderbolt, if I had to guess. 
All right, so let's taunt him now. Good fish for a burn. I'm okay with Heatran going down. the grassy glide. Let's see. Grassy train. It does about 30%. Alright, so how many turns of grassy terrain do we have left? One turn of grassy terrain. Do you want to do it? Yeah, we might as well. Fine with me. He can't recover. That's good damage. <laughs> okay, we got the burn. Alright. Oh, he's gonna survive. Oh, gosh. That's fine. Swampert's probably AV then, which means Duraludon is not. So what is Duraludon's? It's a weakness policy? I'll have to be careful of that. It's probably weakness policy, Duraludon. Alright, so we know not to use a ground move on it. Alright, so his, he has to bring Thunderous this game, for sure. He's going to bring Thunderous. The question is whether he leads Thunderous. I, I could definitely see him leading Thunderous. Um, so I think we actually go with the Whimsicott Inteleon lead this game. Probably Haxorus, right? Probably Haxorus for the Porygon. Or we could make him adjust to us. I mean, he has to bring Thunderous this next game. I think this is the way we go. Yeah. Because hmm. I know for sure uh, Fake Tears and G-Max Hydro Snipe will Oko the Porygon, but that's if he's not Dynamax, so uh, if he does Dynamax, that could be a problem. I feel like he has to Dynamax. If we lead Inteleon, it might bait him to Dynamax the Thunderous right away, and we can always Fake Tears and uh, take out the Thunderous that turn. Unless he max guards and goes for the trick room, which could pose a problem. Alright, well, we'll stick with this for now. We'll see what happens. Riolu. Okay. I'm okay with this, actually. 
Yeah, I'm okay with this. Okay, so... Let me just double check something here. I want to fake tears ice, but I want to see if... Um, I can just cover with water and it should do about the same. Congress. Yeah, water does the same, so we're gonna fake tears this thunderous. And we're gonna hydra snipe thunderous. See if he max guards. I think he's going to be inclined. He's definitely going to Dynamax because we have Inteleon out in the field. He He's going to want to Dynamax. The question is, does he Max Guard Coach or does he do something else? <laughs> What's the item on the field there? All right, let's see if he goes for the Max Guard. He doesn't. Okay, so this Thunderous should be gone. He probably went for the... I don't know, actually. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about the Defiant, because this should Oko. And if it doesn't, we're screwed. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Alright, so we're in a really good position now. We can kind of just leave Riolu alone. Okay. So we know Fake Tears, Hydra Snipe, KOs, and he's going to get the attack boost. Yes, of course. Okay. Now we are going to Fake Tears, the Porygon, and we're going to Hydra Snipe the Porygon. He's definitely going to have an uphill climb. I don't think it's possible at this point, actually. Even because we cover... If it's Swampert, we can still hit it for neutral. And fake with fake tears, it's, it should Oko. Yep, so this Porygon should be gone. Yep. He's probably going to detect. He has to detect, right? Uh, we're going to get chip damage on, off of it anyway. And then we're going to go with the... Uh, do we want to taunt this? Really? Yeah, let's taunt it. And we will... Hydra Snipe. I should still do about, I want to say, 30% through detect. It's gonna do a lot. No coaching. Oh, mental herb. Oh, that was so smart. Okay, okay. Coaching, help him. Oh, that did way more than I thought. Wow. And he's slower, so we'll just Scald. Scald Moonblast should, should do the trick. Okay. 
All right, GG's to Xerxes. Good luck on your last match, bro, and uh, GG's. And uh, I hope you join us for the second season for sure. Uh, it, it was a, f a blast uh, battling you. All right, uh, so that puts us at 7-2, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.